Hello everybody, my name is Greg Palco from Palco Designs. I am a graphic designer from Central New Jersey. I am a horror designer. I do photo manipulations, uh, horror art, poster art, uh, DVD cover, book covers, all the fun stuff. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Bleeding Critic asked me to do a video on my horror collection, on my one-to-one -one bust collection. Um, I've always been a huge, huge horror fan. So uh, I've been collecting movies for over 20, two years something like that and a uh, horror bus probably for about uh, a little over 10 years I would say so I'm gonna do an exclusive horror memory video for everybody to check out in honor of Bleeding Critic all right so we're gonna start the video off with my uh, Ghostbusters proton pack um, obviously everybody needs an unlicensed nuclear accelerator on her back and if you pull off the hilt Got a lot of volume. It's pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> neutrino one extends with the with the button press. This thing is pretty legitimate. And then if you hit the button, <laughs> in the first cabinet we have the Bride of Chucky. And um, I generally keep everything behind glass um, to walk back and give a quick view of everything. I have the glass open on the middle one just because of the reflection and the light. Uh, I do have some backlighting in there and I may turn off the light to show you the blue, but let's see here. So we have the Bride of Chucky there and uh, if you squeeze him, he has about uh, 20 sayings or something. It's pretty cool. I mean, he's a pretty badass piece. Uh, we have Freddy Krueger, I believe, part three. Um, I kind of pieced that one together. Uh, the resin bust was from Scareware Productions. And I had the glove made from Nightmare Unlimited, I think it was, a while ago. They're actually uh, metal gloves. You can wear them. Very durable. They're awesome. There is the part four Jason. Uh... I may pause the video at some point, take off the mask, and show you uh, the faces. It's really, really awesome. Uh, Legend, Meg Mucklebones. Always freaked me out as a kid. Uh, a lot of people should definitely see that movie if they haven't seen it. It's very disturbing. Uh, Tom Cruise was in it. Uh, Tim Curry played the devil, or uh, the Lord of Darkness, I should say. And it's probably one of the best sci-fi horror movies ever made, honestly, from my perspective. And, uh, make multiple bones. <sighs> Alright, so, in this cabinet, we have, uh, Bub from Day of the Dead. It's a George Romero classic, I'm sure. 99% of horror fans have seen that one. This is my thing piece. Zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it. The detail, the teeth work, the acrylic eyes, it's awesome. The eyelashes even, I mean this piece is just, just fucking awesome. And there is the Lament configuration from Hellraiser. Uh, I got a toe tag here actually, which kind of fell over when I was opening up the case prior. That came with Chucky, so I just kind of tossed that in there as well. And this right here, Reanimator. Uh, a lot of you, if you know me, uh, know that I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan, and Stuart Gordon, whatnot, his movies, um, based off the, uh, Lovecraft films are just, just fucking badass, so, um, I really, really wanted this piece. There's a light that goes in the top up there, uh, it died out, so I'm not gonna turn it on, but in the dark it makes this entire thing glow green it's really badass uh, and here is a minion from the gate which over this way the gate is one of my favorite horror movies of all time I did a video for bleeding critic on that as well it's just really really awesome uh, let's see sentinel sphere from phantasm one this thing is all 
basically iron cast, uh, sharp screws, sharp points. Really, really excellent quality. It's amazing. Going down lower, this is a Jason from part seven. I think this is uh, basically everybody's favorite look for Jason. I mean, me personally, I like, uh, I like part four the best, his look, but uh, seven is definitely a classic as well. If you remember, remove that mask, because I have access to it at the moment, and you can see the face a little bit better. It's pretty awesome. Letterface, 1974, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, my favorite horror movie ever made of all time. Toby Hooper, unfortunately passed away recently. But that is just a great piece. Okay, moving over a little bit to the right, we have Rudy, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is a full-size figure. Back it up a little bit. Down, we'll get those two pieces in a second. But yeah, this is a, uh, a life-size Rudy figure. He stands about seven feet tall, I guess. Uh, he's all resin cast, uh, acrylic eyes, just excellent detail. The gun, although not screen accurate, it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> and uh, go down again. So we have the baby killer clown from that movie. The popcorn clown. If uh, if you, anybody knows the movie, and obviously I'm sure a lot of you do, uh, when they would shoot the popcorn gun, um, the uh, small baby clowns would spawn from that. This is a Krite from Critters. Critters is another classic 1980s horror film. Uh, Chuck Jarman is one of the people I buy my props off of the most, and I customized, had him actually customize a piece for me. Uh, before showing you that, he gave me this as like a bonus. So this goes along with the piece, and it is a tombstone, and it has my name on it, which is just really, really fucking cool of him to do. I'm trying to get that date behind it. There you go. So, so yeah, one of my favorite horror series, uh, in my top five is Tombs of the Blind Dead. And, uh, not many people have ever done a Templar, uh, you never see it. So I asked him if he would, if you would mind making me a one-to-one -one full size scale. Real sword, uh, dirty apparel, skulls, graves, everything. And he came through on that one. And what's really badass is he added the theme song for me. The little hidden button. He put a lot of work into this. It's just, it's great. Pull off the, the hood so you guys can see it. Let me turn off the music. His sculpt, I mean, it's just absolutely fantastic. He put a lot more work into it, which you can't see. If you were to even take off this cloak, uh, the body goes down to about uh, chest value. It has the skeleton, behind the head is the open skull, the spine, everything is showing. I mean, this thing is just fantastic. And um, if you haven't seen any of the Tombs of the Blind Dead series, I highly suggest it. They're just great Spanish-Italian horror movies. Just, they're just awesome, man. They're really, really creepy. Uh, a couple posters, Creepshow 2, classic. Uh, Screaming Skull, anybody should definitely see that movie. That's from the 50s, it's so good. And we also have Creation X's Crypt Keeper, acrylic eyes, really good work, and the tall man, Angus Scrim, who passed away a couple of years as well, unfortunately. But uh, Phantasm has always been one of my favorite movies. I added on to Tie Tack. I uh, thought it would have been a good, like a, a good, uh, I don't know, just a good add on to the piece, just to tie everything together. So let's back away, show you the room, and my arcade game I built with uh, Terror Drum on it, horror games, obviously. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to bring you into the next room. All right. So real quick before I go to the other room, this is the one case in the dark. How oh, I told you I added the lighting. It looks really cool. 
And I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough. And this is my Elder Predator. It's a one-to-one -one piece as well, uh, made by Chuck Jarman. He's done a lot of my pieces. He does really excellent work. Uh, he's did the foam dreads, everything is handmade. It's high quality work. Uh, por porcupine quills, I think, in there. Uh, let me see, resin eyes, latex, uh, actual animal bones. Let me get around to the case so you can see it. Walk to the other side. So I had an actual um, custom case made for this. My friend's father uh, is a woodsworksman. He does uh, he does amazing woodworking skills, and he gave me a good price on an actual cabinet for this. So I had it custom made, sized it, I measured everything out, and um, just had him do it for me. There's a button hidden. Walking up again. There's a button hidden behind the one dreadlock back there behind the bone and it plays the predator sound but being that it's encased I can't really do anything with it at the moment but it's all right so that's my elder predator and then the bio helmet great piece resin super high quality and then we have the Green Gremlin. Uh, Gremlins Part 2, I think this one was from, most likely. Uh, this was by NECA. They made them. Uh, limited edition. I don't know how many they made. Not many, but it comes with the stand. And, uh, I don't know. I found one on eBay a few years ago for a really good price, so I picked it up. Let me show my horror collection, uh, horror movie collection next. All right, so really quick, this is my horror movie collection. Um, nothing is organized. I need more room. This is basically the attic of my house, and uh, you can just see how I have shit stacked up. <laughs> but just a general gist of stuff, and let me walk to the other side. A lot of clamshell stuff, um, stuff I purchased in video stores back in the day, just driving around for hours um, when video stores were closing or when they were still open, they were doing their sales and just picking them off the racks. I really miss those days. I wish, uh, I honestly wish video stores were still around, but at least you get the general idea. And uh, a lot of these films are actually like double backed or triple backed. There's like a few layers in there, so. Uh, well, that's my collection, man. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, Bleeding Critic, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks again for giving me the opportunity. It's great.